Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammy, and welcome back to my kitchen. Well, guys, the harvest right has finally arrived. I ordered in April, and it's now June. And I did order a small harvest right. They literally come into small, medium, and large, and most people get the large. But I wanted the small because I wanted to set into my kitchen because I'm doing, obviously, a lot of stuff into the kitchen, panning, cooking, dehydrating, dealing with the, the vegetables, the garden. So I'm always into the kitchen. So I wanted this unit to be small because I wanted it to be located in my kitchen. Now with this freeze dryer, whether you get small, medium, large, you want to make sure it's sitting onto a level place, a stable level place. Now these units need to be into a cool, dry location. Um, this is a very good location. You don't want it into a dusty location, but you want it into an atmosphere that your equipment is not going to get damaged. So I wanted mine into the kitchen. Now, I decided to get the Harvest Right Premier Pump. Now, it comes with a regular pump, but with this pump, you only have to change the oil 25 to 30 times. With the other one, you have to change, I believe, every time or at least up to five times. Or something like that but I do know with the premier is 25 to 30 times so that's like a big plus having a premier if you go with a small or medium or even a large if you decide to get the premier pump you definitely want to try to think about investing in something other that you don't have to continue working on something else now it doesn't take very long to change this oil this is where you put the oil in this screws off there's a little hole and you're going to pour your oil in there now it comes down here with like an oil regulator. It says medium and maximum. You want to fill it into the middle. Now I did notice that when I fill this, put this in here, I waited 24 hours and I did notice that the oil rose just a little bit, even though it was in the midline. Now, or not in the midline, but into the, in, into the middle, between the min, minimum and maximum into the middle. And I noticed it rose a little bit. So if you do overfill it, all you got to do is tilt this over a little bit and the oil will come out, come out and, you know, you just take that oil and pour it back into your container. So I would suggest letting it sit for a little bit so that the oil can get to the place it's supposed to be, which is into the middle. Um, the Harvest Right is just a good way to preserve food that it seems like a lot of money you're putting out at one time. But if you had to buy individual packets or buckets of freeze-dried products, you would find that you probably end up spending more, especially if you wanted to go for a long term, like for a year, even for six months, you're going to spend a lot of money. This is a convenient way that you can know what you're freeze-drying, what product is going into your freeze-dryer, what you're freeze-drying, and what you're going to be eating. Now, with the Harvest Right, you want to make sure that... Um, that this little where the trays are at you want to make sure that's pulled out some because you want it snugged up against this gasket here now you want to make sure that you take this gasket out and just rinse it off wipe it off make sure it doesn't have any dust also with the acrylic door this has two latches here it has one turn and then two turn with this premier pump here you see that it comes with a hose. It connects to the premier pump. It also connects to the size of, side of the freeze dryer. You want to finger tighten this, but you also want to possibly take a pair of pliers and just barely, because you do not want to over tighten here onto your freeze dryer or even here onto the pump. Now back here, this pump plugs into the back of the freeze dryer. There's a receptacle. Um, cord that plugs into the wall. Now the large has to have a 20 amp um, by itself. Uh, you, you don't want everything connected to it. You want it on a 20 amp. With this being a small, I can plug it right into my 110. But you want to make sure that you, if you have a large unit, that you are onto a 20 amp des you know, designated outlet just for your freeze dryer. Over here on the other side, this is the drain hose right here. 
Now it has the on and off. Right now it's in the open position, which is pointing like toward me. And the off is pointing up to the ceiling. Now with this hose right here, it go, does go into a bucket or anything you can put it into, like maybe a pail or something like that. Um, you want to make sure that this hose right here is not going to be sticking in water because it can cycle back up into your unit right here. Now, Harvest Rice says that with this unit, it does not have like an insulated pillow right here. It's black. They said that it works fine without it and possibly better because I guess it, if it's not put in there right, it can create not a good seal. You got to make sure that pillow, if you have one, is, you know, is pushed it back, back in there. You don't want it sticking out here on the side of the gasket. You want to make sure because you, if you're not, you're not going to have a good seal. Onto this pump, it has the on and off switch. So what we're going to do, we're going to be running a test run. So I'm going to go ahead and have turn this pump on. Make sure I turn it on. Okay, it's on because O is off and one line is on. We're going to reach back here and turn this freeze dryer on. And we've got it on. And we're going to start doing a test run. You're going to do a test run and then you're going to do what they call a bread run. The test run makes sure that this unit is back and sealing correctly. So what we're going to do, once we cut it on, you'll see a screen that comes on up here. It says Harvest Right, Customize, Start. There's a little leaf here into the corner and we're going to tap that leaf. Once we tap that leaf, there's, there's a, a screen that comes up that says functional test and you got freeze, heater, vacuum, and auto uh, relay. So what we're going to do, we're going to freeze because we're running our test run. We're going to hit freeze. You'll hear the compressor come on. Then you're going to close your door, and which is two turns, one and then two. And then we're going to step over here and we're going to close this valve over here. Close is being pointed up to the ceiling. Also, when you're doing your premier pump, it has a valve right here and it has a C and it has an O. You want to make sure this valve is on O. If it's on C, it means that it's possibility you can ruin your pump, but you can only get four or five uses out of your oil. If it's on O, o <laughs> if it's on O, then you're going to get 25 or 30 times uses out of your oil. You don't have to change your oil except every 25 or 30 times. So now what's going on with this unit is starting to freeze. It's running a freeze drive. It all dry and freeze. It's freezing to make sure that the pressure is right. Um, that the pump, you know, is going to be freeze drying right. But up, up here it shows the pressure and it has 273198. And it's going up and down and it has M and this, this is your T-O-R-R, -T -O -R -R, your TOR. So T-O-R-R. -R. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set my timer for about 30 minutes. You get 30 minutes or more. You're going to let this run for 30 minutes or more. And then we're going to, after the timer goes off, then you're going to come back over here and hit vacuum. And this pump should come on. And then we're going to let that run for about, about I think it's about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Let me see here. So yeah, so then once we hit that vacuum, the vacuum will show on and then we'll hear, hear this pump come on and then within 20 or 30 minutes, this TOR, this T-O-R-R, -R, is going to drop down uh, to a, a 500 or below. Um, when this happens, this is showing that the test is successful and then you're going to press done. So right now, we're going to go over here and look what Harvest Right sent with this freeze dryer while the timer is going off for 30 minutes while this unit inside is freezing. So over here, this is the items that came 
with the unit. Here they sent some Mylar bags, but I ordered an extra box of Mylar bags, and there's 50 into a pack. They also sent one box of uh, oxygen absorbers, there's 50 into it, but I also ordered an extra box. Since I'm going to be freeze drying, I thought I'd just go ahead and have it so I don't have to wait on to the shipment. Also, I have these uh, little silicone type pads here. There's three of them. These are the trays that goes into the harvest right. Now this is a small, so there's three of them. But I also ordered three more of these so that I can have three sitting in the freezer, freezing my items in here in the freezer so that the harvest right doesn't have to run as long. And you don't have to do it like that. The harvest right will freeze it. But this is just an option that I can have uh, one these trays into the harvest right and then some into the freezer and me it just make it a little bit easier for me so it also comes with two bottles of oil now this is the oil that you put in your pump and there's enough for another oil change and you can also purchase some more from from harvest right the impulse sealer comes with the unit also uh, with the harvest uh, with the freeze dryer um, it it, this impulse sealer is for these mylar bags, which once again the oxygen absorbers, oxygen absorbers go into the mylar bags, and the impulse sealer seals the mylar bags. So right here is the oil where you're gonna put your oil in the top of this. It drains through, and here is like a um, little cotton, like you put in. It goes into a pillow you can get at Walmart, any craft store. And then on the outside is a coffee filter and it drains down that filters out and then the oils down in here um, you could also while that's draining go ahead and take your oil and and fill up your uh, pump and then when this is finished you just put it into your oil container well into your back into your container so it also comes with these these guys to freeze drying now this is a very neat book. It's, it covers recipes, um, maintenance and tips for your freeze dryer. It also has um, will it freeze dry, it talks about will it freeze dry, recipes, how to rehydrate your freeze dried food, also how about you know baby food, meats, fruits and vegetables, breakfast suggestions, meals, Tasty yogurt drops, healthy chips, and, and creamy uh, bean dip. So this is a really neat book they send with your Harvest Right. It also comes with a home freeze dryer own, owner's manual, the troubleshoot guide, and current, then the vacuum pump owner's manual. So this is from Patriot Supply or Patriots.com. Now this is a 72-hour survival food kit. Now I do have a five gallon bucket of some survival food and a little small, smaller tote of survival food. But I think this was like 50 bucks for this little bag. It's supposed to be 72 hours, you know, and then I think the five gallon bucket about that size down there, it was like $89. And then I think the other tote was probably about maybe 50, 40 or something like that. So if you consider that, that's not enough food to probably I mean, it's probably enough food for me to get through a week. But if you had a, a down grid or something happened, a hurricane or volcano eruption, if you had to go for, you know, for days on, months and weeks, years or year, you know, you would spend so much money on trying to have food put up. Now, this has already been freeze dried, but by the time you bought all that, you could have one of these. Now, Harvest Right does have a layaway plan. So you can lay it away and then pay for it. And then when you get it laid out, you know, laid away out, when you finish paying for it, then they'll send it to you. That is the option there. But look at all that you get. You know, the, the trays, the impulse sealer, the oil, the filter, the, the situation, which is for the vacuum pump. Um, so that's a really neat thing. It's really simple and you know, it's not costing you any more money. So some um, coffee filters and like that cotton pillar stuffer or whatever it's called. 
you know, this, the little cotton that goes into pillows as you can get at the craft store and Walmart, like I said. You get your Mylar bags, you get uh, your oxygen absorbers, and the oil, all this that you get for such a great price. So you're just gonna buy you're just gonna buy some cheap bread. This is food line. Of course, nothing's cheap anymore. Two bucks for this bread that doesn't really taste that good, but it's nevertheless it's it's okay. It's good for a tomato sandwich. So these breads right here has already been done, but he said the best way to do this is you know just take a spray bottle. This is a new spray bottle with just water into it and. You're just going to spray it on there. Now, what I did was actually take my bread off because I didn't really want all the water on this tray. And I just sprayed it. And that, that soaks it enough. It's not overdoing it. Yep. And now, this is pretty wet. Now we're ready to do our bread run. So let's go over here to the freeze dryer and let's get started. So once you do your test run, you're going to open up, be sure to open the valve over there and uh, that creates the pressure to the vacuum, the, the pressure to go out so that you can open the door. I've already got one tray sitting in here and of course we're going to put the rest of the trays. to do our bread run. So we got our bread in there and this is uh, this is for the new freeze drying process. Um, this system is the, to, to monitor the uh, freeze dryer. For new freeze dryers you need to run a one batch burn. It's called one batch burn. Uh, this means that you should fill the freeze dryer with moist bread slices and freeze dry it. And after the bread is finished, the test for you're going to test it for its dryness, and then you're going to throw it away. Uh, this pretty much just gets the manufacturer's smells. They also sanitize these units right here, so the product they use it, it just helps get all that out. And uh, you're just going to is it, what this is going to do is just, just to make sure that your freeze dryer is working properly, and of course help remove any manufacturing new car type smells. He did say you leave this pump on all the time, the button. You don't have to turn it on and off. And since this unit, I haven't cut it off, it's on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the little leaf again. I'm going to connect, uh, tap the button that says freeze. You hear the compressor come on. You're going to shut the door. You're going to close this latch two times. That's one and two. And then you're going to reach over here and shut the valve. So now we're just going to wait for it to finish its process. And um, then we'll be done with this bread run test. And then we'll be ready to do our first batch. So I'm so excited about this, especially when I don't have a pillow in here. I can see how this bread does. It will not change its shape or its, you know, its size. It's just going to free, it's going to take all the moisture out. It's going to come in this tube right here, run down in this bucket. Any moisture will go into the bucket, whatever container that you decide to use. And uh, so it'll be probably tomorrow before this process is maybe completed. Uh, it is quarter till seven so yeah so once this stops then you can start your first batch of freeze drying drying into the harvest right freeze dryer now this is a small and this is perfect for anybody for one person two people I think you know um, I'm glad I made a selection of getting small because I think this is going to be perfect for my needs. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and i hope that you're doing great out there stay safe and remember y'all make it a great day new project another project here on the homestead so we're going to do the bread run this is the second stage of setting up your harvest right so the system's on the pump is on you don't turn the pump off you just leave the pump on all the time so you don't have to worry about that you've got the unit on you see the lights on we're going to hit this time start and what comes up it says do not mix frozen with non-frozen trays so since our bread is not frozen we're going to tap non-frozen it tells us to close the drain valve. Come over here and close it. It says load food into the freeze dryer. So we're going to load our bread. Make sure our door shut good. One, two. And then it says low food and, and free jar, close drain valve. We've done that. We're going to match continue. And now it's saying that it's freezing. So from here on, everything is automatic. And now all we got to do is wait to for this to stop. stop. Little spray bottle makes it really easy. Because you know with bread, if it gets too soggy, it falls apart. Just spray your bread. Follow the directions and everything is automatic well guys i thank you so much for watching i appreciate you so much please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already i uh, thank you all my subscribers i want to say a great thanks to rick rick hall for sending me those wild lettuce seeds i forgot to thank rick for that and uh, i appreciate tim waters for sending me the light i appreciate that because that actually i'm using the light right now the wild lettuce seed. I was looking online for some wild lettuce seed, and Lord behold, Rick sends me it through the mail. I open up the the mailbox, and into an envelope was wild lettuce seed. So I'm looking forward, Rick, to planting those. Um, of course, the wild lettuce. I I'm not sure know much about them. I'm thinking it probably in cooler weather. I don't know, but Rick, I thank you so much for sending me those wild lettuce see god is good all the time harvest right small freeze dryer food pers preservation that's is that a word preserving <laughs> food preserving for a long term haul of our life okay guys thank you so much and remember to make it a great day i cannot wait to get to my first batch which will be bananas blueberries and strawberries that's going to be my first batch of running this freeze dryer and lord then after that it's on thank you guys and remember to make it a great day